Hey guys, what's up? I am Sam, and welcome to my Origami Dojo. So today, in celebration of Super Pie Day, which is coming up on the 14th, I'm going to show you how to make this origami pie symbol. Are you ready? Then let's go! Okay, so we're going to start with a sheet of letter-sized paper, and if you're using A4, don't worry, you'll just need to do a few more steps. So what we need is the same size strip of paper we used for the rectangular bat tutorial. So to do that, we're going to just take this edge here and fold it up to the top. Then we're going to cut out along this strip here, along this edge here, and then use that strip for the pie. And if you're using letter-sized paper, you can take your strip and go right onto the tutorial. If you're using A4, you need to unfold the square here, then take this edge and fold it up to the crease we just made. Then we're going to take this edge here and fold it over to this point right here. So let's rotate around and we'll fold it up to that point there and crease sharply. Then we just cut out this strip here and we can go on and make some pie. Okay, so we're going to start with that rectangular strip of paper, and we're going to fold in half. Then let's unfold, and we'll fold both edges into the center. Then what we're going to do is just rotate and fold in half, but this time let's just, you know, crease slightly so we don't, just for guideline purposes. Then let's unfold and let's fold in half, bringing the top down to the bottom. Now what we're going to do is take it and fold it in thirds. So to do that, we'll fold this flap over in front, and this one over, in be over behind, and we'll just get those to line up. And this is going to take a little bit of fiddling, but I have faith in you. You can do it. Stay strong. Okay, enough with the delaying tactics. I think I got it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is unfold, and we'll fold over on the one-third mark here. Then we'll fold this flap down so that this edge here lines up with that middle crease we pinched earlier. And that looks about right. So, yeah, there we go, like that. And then what we're going to do is take this flap and fold it over, but we're going to slide it out a little ways past the edge here, like about this. Then we're going to crease, and then we're going to fold it down like the other flap, but this time we're going to slide it outwards and down a little bit so that it extends out further. Like, you know, that curly leg of pie. What up? You know, this picture here. Okay, just like that. And then, let's just fold this up a little ways so that there's a... Let's see, there we go. Like a nice flat line between them. It's a bit rough, but you know what I'm trying to do here, right? Okay, so then let's unfold that. And let's unfold this. And now what we want to do is make reverse folds on the existing creases, which sounds a bit scary, but all we have to do is fold over on that one-third crease we already made. Then we bring this down using that valley crease from earlier, and then push this out and flatten, like so. So basically we move the flap, all the folds that were on top from earlier down inside the model like this. And then we just have to do that on the other side. We unfold. We fold in on the lower crease here. And then we push in. And then we fold down on this crease here. And then we bring it in and close it up. And our pie is almost done. As a finishing touch, I like to touch, I like to tuck in the two folds we made earlier. So let's just open up, fold them inside. 
And our origami pie is done. Happy Super Pie Day. Hey guys, I'm Sam and I want to thank you for watching that last tutorial. If you enjoyed it, well, you know what to do. And feel free to check out these lovely videos here. And, and I know what you're thinking. You survived the origami piranhas from last week? Well, they were origami piranhas. What are they going to do? Give me paper cuts? Yeah, actually, that... they did. And I know what you're also thinking. I mean, I should have taught the origami piranha tutorial, then the band-aid tutorial, and then it would have been a lot funnier, but... If I could go back in time, I'd do it all over again, but as far as we know, time travel doesn't exist. Not yet. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Sam out.